Any farmer will tell you rain can be the difference between a good year and a bad year, and recent drought conditions have brought some challenges to farmers, especially in northwest Arkansas. Five News reporter Jacob Luthi visited a local sheep farm in Benton County. He explains how the lack of water affects the supply chain from farm to table. The reason this one is so different, one, it's protracted, it's longer than I had experienced in the past. Um, and I have more at stake than I used to. Uh, you know, I have livestock now, and the pastures are critical to raising them. Will Hanna, along with his wife, Waltina, have owned and operated Hanna Family Ranch since 2013 and specialize in farming sheep. They both say this drought has dried up pastures needed to feed their sheep. Last year, they ate pasture until November, and that was wonderful. Um, but like I say, this year in August, I'm, I'm haying them because the pastures were gone. So it increases our expenses. To save some money, Wool says they began selling off livestock. And while he's willing to eat up the cost paying for extra hay now, he says if the drought continues, they may consider raising the price of their lamb. At some point, if we have successive years of something like this, um, what do we do with 35 acres? If, if, it's, if it's not raising livestock. James Mitchell, assistant professor with the University of Arkansas Department of Economics, says a drought affects cattle farmers too in a unique way. This drought is, is forcing some producers to liquidate their herds or shrink their herd sizes at a time when maybe we'd like to be holding those herd sizes constant with a plan to maybe expand them next year. So we're not able to capitalize um, on higher prices than maybe we normally would without this drought happening. Will says he and his wife will continue to check the forecast, hoping for some rain. Every day, <laughs> every day, every day. And uh, we're praying for rain and, uh, and then a lot of times when you get rain, then I'll complain about the mud, you know. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Jacob Luthi, 5 News. Well, mud's not fun to deal with either. Meanwhile, the Hannahs say with their land as dry as it is right now, it'll take way more than one or two inches of it to solve the problem.